guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I am a part-time reseller and today I have not one, not two, but three hauls from doing some online sourcing at one of my most favorite places. And I want to start out by saying this video is not sponsored. I bought all these items with my own money and I just am excited to share them with you. So I resell on places like Poshmark, Mercari, Kitizen, but a lot of the items that I picked up in my last three hauls is stuff I got for my own kids. We are uh, finally in a no uniform school. And so I've kind of been going a little overboard, but I've been pulling stuff from their own closets, getting rid of a lot. So um, just kind of replenishing a lot of things. Uh, yeah. So I'm excited to dig in. I had these three orders literally came like four days apart, but that's because uh, they're constantly adding new items to their website. The website is unclaimed baggage. This is not the first time I've chatted about them. Oh, uh, they, so I guess they have an actual in-person store. I can't remember. I think it's in Alabama. Don't quote me on that. I'd love to go, but it's online and obviously, sorry about these things, but most of the store is online. You can go in person, but I believe a lot of this to be actual, um, they buy pallets of unclaimed baggage, literally from airports. But I do think they also, like many other companies, thread up, swap, all of that. I think they do get pallets from certain brands because sometimes they'll be like, nobody has a suitcase with 27 of the same dress. You know what I mean? So anyway, I check this website every other day and I do not like to pay for shipping. I am one of those people, if I'm buying off of a website, if it's $5.99 for shipping, I try, well, I always get to the threshold, even if it's with some cheaper items that I know I can make a profit on. So that's what I have done. So let's jump in. All right. So this I had favorited for a while. Also, excuse the hat. I'm having a really bad it is like 97 degrees outside and the humidity must be 110% if that's even a thing. And we are, as soon as I finish this video, my kids should be walking in from school any minute. We are going to Epcot. You guys know I live in Orlando. We go to Disney or SeaWorld or somewhere um, lately every Friday after school. It's just kind of what we do. So today we are going to Epcot. So, all right, this is a set I got for my daughter to wear on Thanksgiving. How cute is this? Brand new with the tags. It's that real nice, like milk silk, I think it's called fabric, but it's actually really thick. It doesn't feel like those really cheapy ones you can pick up. And I, I did pay up for this at $15, but that's because I bought this for personal use, not to flip. All right, this was another like totally random purchase. You guys have heard me talk about mini Bowden all of the time. Um, my son was a Needham sub boxers. So these are just some really cute little boys boxers. I've never sold, sailed, sold, sold, used kids underwear. Like, listen, we're all resellers here typically watching these, but I will just put it out there that Mini Bowden and Hannah Anderson, there is a market for even once they're used, okay? Like, at least on Kitizen, they sell. I have a lot of friends that sell on Kitizen. Uh, the quality just holds up so well. So whether that's your thing or not, we did cloth diapering with one of my kids. To me, it's kind of the same difference, only hopefully... You know, these are size 8, 10, and boys, 8, 9. But there's none of the same. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, I did pay $19.99 for these. But from Bowdoin, these were probably $40. So to me, that was just a little bit more than I would have paid at Target and for a much more quality brand. So also for my little, uh, they have been wanting to wear dresses to school on non-PE days. But a lot of their dresses are tank tops or they're not quite the four-finger rule. And it's cold in their classroom, so they take jackets every day for their backpack. So anyway, I picked up this little cute Lily Pulitzer sweater for my youngest, who is obsessed with Lily Pulitzer. I wonder where she got that from. And this was $19, brand new with the tags. It retailed for $54. So this is probably something, even paying up like that, I probably could have made a profit on. Uh, this also, my other daughter just has been wanting to wear sweaters over some dresses. This was $8. And in this first shipment, I thought this was so cool. So my son has some sensory issues when it comes to certain kinds of socks, certain clothing. He doesn't like jackets that have a zipper that goes all the way up and touches his skin. So anyway, I've been trying to pick up different jackets for him and I've bought several and ended up selling them because he'll come home from school and say, mommy, I can't wear that jacket. So I bought him this really 
cool Levi's jean jacket. I haven't shown it to him yet. He is 10. I don't know if he's going to think this is like not cool, but my husband has one. And I really wanted to show you guys this because Levi's, there, there is a market for Levi's and they had very similar jackets in men's and women's sizes as well. And this was $25. So I just thought that was a pretty great deal in my opinion. So this entire box, the first order, uh, had absolutely nothing to resell, but I still wanted to show you guys the pricing and what I picked up, the things you can find there. There should be some things to sell in this next one. Let me go to the next picture. Okay, so this little sweater is for my own kid, but it's Vineyard Vines. Super cute little sweater, and it was $10. So for me, it's kind of like similar prices to if I were to go to my local Once Upon a Child. This I did get to sell. This is Matilda Jane, great brand to pick up. This is a little girl size two. I just really like the mixed print. And here is the logo tag you'll always find on the articles. If you did not know, you can always find the stock photos as well as let's find out the name of the item and the retail price of the item by going to the MJ Lookbooks website. And on the tag, like this one says April 2014. So you literally just Google MJ lookbook April 2014. And you just kind of scroll through the pictures and you'll be able to find the title because avid Matilda Jane lovers know they are looking for the pretty in pink dress from 2016 or whatever. So this I paid $8 for. This. I'm not sure if I'm selling it. I need to try this on my son for our family photos. This is Johnny B, which is Bowden, size 910. And this, this little jacket was $8 and it is such good quality. Um, yeah, so I really liked the inside. I liked everything about it. Like how schnazzy is this little jacket? Okay, so this is funny. I actually got this, this was listed on the, in the children's section as a size small, which is a size four or five in Lily. It comes and I'm like, mm, this is definitely a women's small, which I am not anymore. Uh, the retail price was cut off, but this is the Maria Boatneck sweater. And I paid $10.59 for it because it was listed in the kids. So this I will absolutely be able to sell and it will pay for several of the items that I'm keeping. This I got for my daughter. You got, I mean, I don't, Bowdoin is just, especially mini Bowdoin. I know that women's Bowdoin doesn't, certain pieces sell very well, but kids mini Bowdoin, especially this newer tag, there is an entire like world of people obsessed with Bowdoin. Uh, so this is so soft. It is actually brand new with the tags. This jacket, um, size seven, eight, this probably cost like 60 bucks when a uh, brand new on their website. And I paid $19 and I did buy this to keep, but honestly, I'm showing you guys this stuff because I purposely buy items for my kids with reselling as the end game. I know this brand sells very well. So I pay, I mean, I paid me with the tags $19. You could walk into Target and pay more than that for Cat and Jack, which don't get me wrong. I love me some Cat and Jack, but the re resale value is not there. Both of my daughters will, will end up wearing this provided one doesn't destroy it. Or like she does a lot of things. I will still profit and make my $19 back probably and then some when I sell this two years from now. So that's how, that's my mentality when I'm shopping for my kids. Same with these. My daughter needed another pair of sneakers. These are brand new with the tags. These are Seekai Run, which is an amazing brand. Their sneakers right now are around 60 to $70 on their website. I know because I went to try to find a pair for her. Uh, these hold their value even in terrible condition. And these new with the tags, I paid $15 for. Again, both of my girls will wear these. And even once they start showing wear, I will still be able to profit when I eventually sell these. And the last thing, if you've watched any of my unclaimed baggage hauls, they always send a cute little sticker. Uh, they, this is where I'm talking about where they probably had a pallet of third love underwear. I buy usually not these other two orders, but every other order besides this one, I have picked up one of these. They are $2 and nine cents and they're still on the website and they're like 30 bucks or something crazy. Um, just to get me to my $75 mark for the free shipping. So I have a bundle of these listed for sale. They're actually quite comfortable. Okay. 
And the order that I got today does have a little bit of a customer service story. So this is, I mean, I probably ordered from them, I don't know, 15 times by now. I've never had an issue except for one time I ordered a new with tags little kicky pants outfit and it had black streaks all over it like it got dragged on the floor the customer service was so nice um asked no questions got my refund no big deal so today when i opened this i was super sad to find a pair of shoes um i got a steal on them anyway but you know not the point they're little baby not baby in my mind they're baby my daughter's little so i have rethought my thinking philosophy whatever on women's size five shoes because my son is 10 and he's wearing a size four and a half so and my good girlfriend her daughter is the same age she wears a five in women's and so i'm always out looking helping look for things for her because it's kind of that awkward you know kid section women section oh there's too high of a heel whatever so I'm not not picking up size five shoes anymore, especially if they look that they could be appropriate for a child. I mean, 10 years old is fifth grade. So um, I know that I was a size eight and a half at the end of my sixth grade school year. And so I was like, what, 11, 12? So anyway, all of that to say, I specifically picked these up with my girlfriend and mine with her 10 year old. They're Jack Rogers, size five. But when I opened them today, I don't know if you'll be able to see the bow, all of the leather is like crumbling. Like this whole little bag was filled up with little black. So it's very unfortunate. Maybe you can see right there. So, you know, these otherwise were in great shape. They were only $9.74, but I sent them an email. You guys, I emailed them because their return policy is you can return anything you want in the first like 14 days, something like that, but you have to pay return shipping. So I just emailed and said, hey, this item was listed in gently used condition with no flaws. It is obviously flawed. I'm happy to send photos. I just don't feel I should have to pay return shipping. I'd like to return it. Within five minutes, I had an email back. We're so sorry. Of course not. We've attached a prepaid shipping label for you. As soon as we get the item back, we will give you a full refund. So their customer service is great. And I love that about a company. Also, I ordered this box on Sunday and today's Friday and it arrived. So their stuff comes super fast. So I'm gonna set these aside. Those have to go back. All right, this is a brand that I learned thanks to Thread Up. It's NYX, K-N-I-X. I got a bra in that uh, 200, my first 200 pound box. It was one of the first items to sell. It sold for like $40. So I saw this bra listed in like new condition and their sizing is a little strange. Like this is a size five. So I'll have to look at their size chart but it was $8 and 29 cents. And I know that I can sell this for quite a bit more. And they also, this brand side note, uh, makes the, the period panties like thinks, uh, they do that as well. So just side note, if that's your kind of thing. Okay. This you might recognize because I own this. I have worn it in videos. It says pop that bubbly. It is by a uh, so, uh, project social. It was on clearance for $5.84. I actually paid the $15. This is the, it's not new with, no, it is new with tags. This is just the, um, the, the unclaimed baggage tag. This is how they keep track of all their items. Anyway, so for five bucks, I think it's cute. It is so soft. I did get this to sell. It kind of reminds me of a lot of my wild fox items in terms of like how soft it is. So these, to go along with what I was mentioning about Jack Rogers earlier, these are a size five and a half. They were only $9.74, but I just thought these were so cute. They were also on sale. They were uh, $25.99 usually from them. They look to be in brand new condition. I think they were listed as like new. It's not your typical Jack Rogers sandals, but these are so cute. Like I can absolutely imagine my daughter wearing these to school in a year or two. So I will look up comps. I haven't yet. I uh, will more than likely probably keep them for her, but um, they price or this brand very low on there. So when you can find them, scoop them up. This, another mini Bowden item. This is their new tag. It is size eight, nine. I did get this for my son. Like how cute is this? Like we're in Florida. You can wear a shirt like this any day of the week. 
and it was $12.59. Like if you go on the Mini Bowden website and like even go to their clearance and sort it by price low to high, trust me because I do, the lowest priced items usually start around $20. So that was a steal. Another little cardigan. Obviously when I start, when I go shopping, if my kid tells me they would like a sweater, I can't just buy them one and it's fine. I'm admitting I have this problem. They need like choices and they need five, but I know I'm going to recoup my money eventually. So I also know Lily Pulitzer runs big for certain things. This is a little girl size, extra small, two, three. That's just some dust, uh, but it's huge. My six-year-old is tiny. She wears a size four, uh, but this will fit her and it's just super cute. And on the same note, I got her this one. So she has three now. She has a blue, a pink, and a white. I think that's, that's okay. Uh, so this is just a really cute little cardigan. I love it with this little detail up here. Oh, I don't think I told you. That other blue one was $8, and this one was also $8. So $8, like, my Once Upon a Child would have priced those higher. This last item, I got to sell. Um, we're just not really into Matilda Jane, the whole Southern kind of thing with the ruffles and yes, that uh, Thanksgiving item is a little Southern-ish, but I just like the turkey. So this is cool. I've never seen this style of Matilda Jane piece. It is a vest cardigan. It has detailing around the pockets. It has this cute little metal, where'd it go? As the girls get older, this, this is like the logo instead of having Matilda Jane written out, it has this cute thing on the back. So it's just like draping open front cardigan. It is a little girl size eight and I paid $12. So that is my haul. So I, like I said, I did pay up for several of these items. Most of these items are to keep for my own kids. I have three of them if you did not know. And uh, hopefully you learned about a brand or two. If you've never checked out the website, it's hit or miss, guys. I do go on the website sometimes and find nothing. I, I don't think I placed an order from this website at all in the month of August. In September, I've made three purchases. So I check every day. I have a couple brands. Obviously, for me, I'm checking Mini Bowden and Lily Pulitzer. So there are a few brands that I'm checking. But even like if you need to go shopping for yourself, check on there. I, um, these are like those little Color Street nail stickers. I bought these off of there, like a three pack for 12 bucks. So you never know what you're going to find. I always scroll the et cetera category, uh, unusual finds, they call it. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on this website. So I hope you have fun, happy sourcing, happy sales, happy shopping, and happy weekend. It's Friday. So I'm going to literally go around the world now at Epcot and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.